So I recently needed some help with a lighting install we did and uh, the lighting install called for using the Vista LCS and TCS system. So if you have used these, you know what they look like. Uh, just want to give you some information that I've learned through trial and error and frustration. And I think this will help you if you're installing these. So first of all, um, they're a good system. I actually really like them. Uh, I love once they're set up, you can zone. There's three zones uh, for your lighting. So you can do different sections. Like here, we're doing the driveway on one. We're doing the house on another. Uh, we're doing different sections of the house. But it's really nice because uh, the customer can just turn on what they want at that time. It's also dimmable, which I think is one of the best features. I don't think color changing is a big deal, but dimming is a really nice feature for, especially around a home. Um, now to the problems. So the real issue is getting the controller, the, the LCS or TCS connected to Wi-Fi. That's the real challenge we've run into. I've even had some where they're connected and then all of a sudden they just stop working. I've probably had three of those in the last couple years. So great product. Just the Wi-Fi part is frustrating to get connected. So they have a new setup manual here. Though you'll see, you'll know it's new because it has that red strip on the top. Um, and what it requires you to do is to have two separate apps to connect this system to Wi-Fi. It uses a Bluetooth app to send the Wi-Fi information to the controller, and then eventually through the Vista app, it will get connected. Um, can be frustrating, but it's better than it used to be. One thing I would highly recommend is make sure you're getting a product that's newer, like especially built since 2023. I've noticed that any of them that are older than that are really difficult to get connected, and I have had a lot of problems. But if they're newer, you have to use both apps to connect it, but it does, it makes it a lot easier and most of those seem to be working properly. Um, that's the main issue I've had. It's pretty good with connecting to the Wi-Fi once you get through that process. Like it's got a little antenna that's really nice. I think the app is pretty good too and it's pretty well laid out and it's easy for the customers to use, much better than the FX app. That one is just so clunky. Uh, so if they get that fixed, that'd be awesome. Just the connection process. And what's uh, pretty cool too is you can see here we have a host transformer. And so that's actually powering this. It, taking a 15 volt input or output from here, going into here. And so if you have a system that's older or already installed, uh, you can do it this way. And then this will control the system. It has a constant power feed so it doesn't turn off. Uh, but the lighting zones will. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And this is actually a cheaper way to do it than getting the TCS, which is only a 300 watt transformer with all the smart features built in. You can get a pretty inexpensive 150 watt transformer or smaller to power this unit, and then you're good to go. So overall, it's a good product. I think it will get better. Unfortunately, we are going to probably discontinue using it for a while until it does get better just because we've had so many issues. So big thing, make sure you're getting a new one, 2023, 2024. Bring your patients, have both apps, read the instructions closely and follow them. Hope this helps you.